Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do the same example twice. That's why we called it example 3a, because we'll then on the next video we'll do example 3b. But here we're going to take the function y equals x to the 3 halves and solve it using the function of x method. In the next video we'll use it, we'll, we'll use the function of y method and you'll find out we'll get the exact same answer. So here is the graphical representation of the function. And notice if the function is written as f of x equals x to the 3 halves, the derivative would be 3 halves x to the 1 half. And when we square that, we get 9 fourths x. Now we'll go ahead and we'll plug that in here and see what we get. So we have the length is equal to, from the integral, integral from 0 to 1. Notice that these are x limits from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function squared, which is 9 over 4x times dx. And now this is not that difficult to integrate. Uh, it might help to write in a different format, so let's try that. L is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of the quantity 1 plus 9 over 4x to the 1 half power dx. And let me leave a little bit of room on the dx portion there. because here we're going to need the proper differential. And so I'm looking for a red pen, so I can accentuate that. Notice we have a 9 over 4x inside the parentheses, so the, def the derivative of what's inside would be 9 fourth dx. So I need a 9 over 4 here, but of course I can just multiply by 9 over 4, I need to negate that, and multiply in front by 4 over 9. So 4 over 9 times this, shows I didn't change anything, but now I have the proper differential. If this here is u, then this here would be du, and now I'm able to integrate it. So this, in this case, it's not that difficult of an integral. So now we can say that the length is equal to 4 over 9 times the quantity, which is 1 plus 9 over 4, oop, forgot the x, can't forget the x here, x to the 3 halves power divided by the new, in the new uh, exponent, 3 over 2, and we're going to evaluate that from 0 to 1. What I'm going to do here is when I mean, you divide by fraction, same as multiplying by its inverse, so 3 halves, that becomes 2 thirds, 2 thirds times 4 ninths, we have L is equal to 8 over 27 times 1 plus 9 over 4x to the 3 halves power, and evaluate it from 0 to 1. All right, let's plug in the limits and see what we get. So now when I evaluate that, I get 8 over 27 times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get 9 over 4 plus 1, which is 13 over 4, to the 3 halves power. And then when I plug in the lower limit, this becomes 0, I get 1 to the 3 halves power, which is simply uh, minus 1, like that, and I could probably write it like this, so this is equal to 8 over 27 times um, 13 to the 3 halves power divided by 4 to the 3 halves power is equal to 8, right, because I take the square root of 4, I get 2 cubed, that gives me 8, and then I want this minus 8 over 8, like this. And then I can factor out an 8, cancel it with the 8 to the left side of the bracket, so then I end up with 1 over 27 times 13 to the 3 halves minus 2 to the 3 halves. Uh, no, not 2 to the 3 halves, that won't work. Uh, let's see, 4 to the 3 halves? Yeah, that will work. 4 to the 3 halves, just to put in the same format, and that's probably close enough. So it's 127, 13 to the 3 halves, and then 8. Uh, 4 to the 3 halves, I take the square root, I get 2, cube, get 8, so that seems like it is correct. So we're going to leave it like that, because that way we can show you that we end up with the same answer when we solve it using a function of y instead of a function of x. So let's write that answer down. We have 1 over 27 times 13 to the 3 halves 
minus 4 to the 3 halves power. All right, and so that's how we do it using the method where we have f of x. Next video, we do it when we have f of y. So stay tuned, and we'll end up with the same, hopefully, same result.